Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome to Sandy's Library. I'm Sandy, and we're back today to do another pick a card reading for Twin Flames and Separation. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. We've got three groups here for you to choose from. Group number one is represented by the little poochie. Um, group number two is represented by the forget-me-nots. <clears throat> and group number three is represented by the little teddy who's tugging his heart along behind him. Okay, so, um, pause the video if you need to, and when you've made your choice, timestamps are in the description. Okay, let's take a look at group number one. Okay, so if you chose group number one, let's go ahead and get started. Remember group number one, represented by the little poochie. We're just going to set him up here, and we're going to draw our Scrabble letters to uh, see if we can find out who we might be talking to today. Um, okay. Um, let's see. We have a W and a Y. A W and a Y. So, if you can pull anything out of that, first, middle, or last initial, uh, perhaps there may be a message here for you. Uh, first, middle, last initial, perhaps a season. Um, and also, real quick, like, I want to remind you guys that um, when I say Divine Masculine and Divine Feminine, uh, it's got nothing to do with gender, uh, male or female, man or woman, those are 3D labels, uh, and we're just talking about energy, so don't get caught up in the pronouns that I use, okay? So let's take a look at what we're dealing with here. We have Divine Masculine Energy. Ten of Cups and Divine Feminine Energy, Four of Cups. And let's see, from our Work Your Light Oracle, uh, we have Unbound. It says, Releasing Soul Patterns, Contracts, and Past Lives. And then we have, um, we're looking for the energy of Archangel Shemuel. And as some of you may or may not know, uh, I freely and openly admit that I don't know how to pronounce most of these things here in 3D. Uh, I can hear it plainly in my head, but it doesn't always fall out that way. I'm sure some of you out there know how to pronounce it. Go ahead and tell me in the comments, okay? All right, so we're going to uh, just set our oracles right here for a bit. And we're going to take a look at these cards and see what Spirit wants to say to us. And um, first, they're telling me the um, astrological energies of Cancer and Aquarius. Mm-hmm. And you know, if ever there was a card to suggest union, and that it's possible, this would be a strong contender. Uh, yes, it would. Uh, my guides, you know, they don't call it the perfect union card for nothing. Uh, so, you know, Normally, I'm hopeful when I see this card. Except when the Divine Feminine is sitting in this kind of 
energy here, this, this, this missed opportunity type of energy that comes in the Four of Cards. So, the best thing that I can pull out of this, this card right here and the energy, um, this Divine Masculine has awakened just enough to where he's not fighting the pull towards you anymore, Divine Feminine. That's where he is. And then, here's where our Divine Feminine is, and it's not pretty. Look at that. You see how he's sitting here? Fixated on these cups in front of him. And then there's this guy standing back here in the doorway. Just waiting in the wings with a brand new cup. Which this guy hasn't seen give a shit about it. His heart is with these cups in front of him. Which, by the way, are empty. Huh. Yeah, this is a Divine Feminine who's been feeling disillusioned about the way her life has turned out. And, you know, I, I, I'm feeling like she doesn't really like where she is on this incarnation's path, you know. She just doesn't like where she's ended up. And she really seems to be caught up in the energy where she's wishing her life away. I mean, she is wholly fixated on what if. Trust me, y'all. <clears throat> this is stagnating energy that will suffocate you. And that's where these two cards come in. There's a very strong message here about following your intuition and honoring your past lives. And guys, Archangels, Shamuel, can help you find Whatever it is you're looking for, he can help you find it, including peace of mind. And I feel like uh, the divine mas divine masculine, sorry, the divine feminine. I feel like she really, really, really needs some peace of mind right now. Yes, I do. We're going to take a look at some oracles here. Um, my guys are telling me this is uh, divine feminine energy right here. So let's see. She says, only in your arms can my broken heart mend. Well, I'm not surprised at that, y'all. I am really not surprised at that. I'll move you guys down here so we can uh, keep up with what's going on. I know y'all can keep up, but sometimes it's hard for me. And if you read the description, you'll understand why. Uh, but anyways, um, this is divine masculine energy. So, he says, I feel your energy reaching across time and space to soothe my soul. Yep. See, divine feminine, he feels you. He does. He knows who you are, and he knows what he wants with you, this perfect union, uh, you know, 
I get that it doesn't sound like much, but it is a start. Yes, it is. Okay, we have, we're, and we're going to have a couple of messages from Spirit now. Uh, this one is from our in-house Oracle deck, Messages from Spirit. Uh, and this is uh, the Mystical Shaman Oracle deck. And no, we are not responsible for that. We're only responsible for the ones that we tell you about. <laughs> okay, so. Uh, let's see what mess, message spirits got for us today. And these basically come from my guides, okay? Uh, they say, don't go through life, grow through life. Yeah. And right now, you know, even though the Divine Masculine may be in a little bit better energy than the Divine Feminine, what's going on with both of you is you're just going through life. And you guys have got to find a way to grow through life. Or let me just say it. Find a way to grow during your separation, okay? And the mystical shaman is the ghost dance. And this doesn't surprise me at all, y'all. I'm feeling like a lot of y'all's problem has to do with uh, your past lives. And you know, we, re we need to release that shit. You gotta let it go. And if you can't seem to, ask Archangel Shamuel to help you make it right. Uh, that's what Spirit's saying to me. Because uh, Archangel Shamuel can. Um, okay, so let's see what their final messages for one another are. And these come from our in-house uh, Lonely Days and Lonely Nights deck. The Lonely Days is... Divine Masculine Energy and Lonely Nights is Divine Feminine Energy. And I just want to mention that all of our Oracle decks were created by Sarah's Tarot. I want to give her a shout out. You get more information about them in the product, or product description, sorry, video description. Shit. Okay, so Divine Feminine, she says, I'm sorry we missed out on so many things. Yes, she is. You see it right there. And the Divine Masculine says, I'll always long for the life that we could have had. Yes, he will. Because see that right there? Mm -hmm. Well, you know, I guess you guys have brought a lot of baggage from into this lifetime from previous lifetimes. And... Yeah, this is something I know a little bit about. And look, we need to release all that old shit. These repeating patterns that are no longer serving us, we got to let them go so we can move on. <clears throat> and you know, I'm just not sure about these two, though. I still want to check and see if there's going to be contact for them here in the 3D. Um, so... Let's see, will there be some form of contact? Maybe give them, give them a little closure or something. <laughs> okay, so, um, let's see. Ah, oh, February, it's February. And I still wanna open that. <laughs> so, okay. Uh, let, let February may be, uh, you know, Valentine's Day. Yeah, feel it, y'all. Okay, so I guess that about wraps it up for group number one. Stay tuned for group number two. Okay, so let's take a look at group number two. And uh, as always, you guys know that uh, I like to play uh, games, so... We're going to play a little Scrabble little letter game blah, and see if we can find out who we might be uh, talking to today. So I'm just going to pull a couple of Scrabble letters out and um, 
if you can pull anything out of this uh, first, middle, or last initial, perhaps a geographic location, there may be a message here for you. And we have a C and an R. So, if you can pull anything out of that at all, uh, like I said, there may be a message here for you. Um, also, I want to mention real quick that when I say Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, I'm not talking about um, man or woman, male or female. Uh, those are 3D label labels, uh, so don't get caught up with the pronouns I use, okay? Alright, so let's take a look and see what we got here. We have Divine Feminine Energy. And we have Divine Masculine Energy, Ten of Swords, Seven of Cups, uh, the Archangel Energy that we are looking for today is, and let me just tell you guys that one of the main reasons that I haven't wanted to do readings this way is because I have trouble here in 3D pronouncing these names. But I'm sure if I get them wrong, somebody's going to tell me. Yeah, y'all tell me in the comments, okay? Because uh, y'all can laugh at me all you want. I don't care. Uh, but we're looking for Archangel Ragwell. Um, and we have our Work Your Light Oracle. And we have, what we have with us today is Lemuria. Creating Heaven on Earth. It's happening. So, uh, I'm going to set these oracles aside for a second, and I want to talk about this card, but first I'm going to tell you guys, um, my guys are giving me the astrological energies of Cancer and Gemini, okay? So, uh, sun, moon, and rising, perhaps a season, could also be a message for you, um, and I want to talk about this because, again, what it said is creating heaven on earth. It's happening. Um, I don't want to give anybody false hope here. Um, so let me clarify. Your heaven on earth or your perfect union with your twin here in the 3D is it's it's happening the, 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 the spirit is the divine is making is working on making it happen but my guides want to warn us um it's always happening but nobody said anything about this particular incarnation you know, and I mean, um, these energies that y'all are in, they're not the greatest. And I know I've been in both of these. Oh, yeah. They are my old friends that I just don't happen to talk to anymore. And here's why. To me, this feels like uh, the final nail in the coffin so to speak. Yeah. Uh, this Divine Feminine, she feels backstabbed and betrayed by her Divine Masculine. And I sure as hell, hell hope that's not him running away right there. Huh. <clears throat> and look, these buzzards hanging around. <laughs> They're making me a little bit uneasy, y'all. And it seems like the only thing that could help our Divine Feminine is her broomstick, which is just out of reach. I feel like if she could get to it, she could get to Archangel Radwell. I feel like, yeah, I do. Um, You know, 
and she's struggling, but she's not able to reach it. So she's not able to tune in to him. You know, and uh, what is our divine masculine doing? Well, our divine feminine is over here literally fighting for her life. Well, I'll tell you. He's sitting over here in this wishful thinking kind of energy. I'm getting that he's not even sure what he's wishing for exactly. But he's saying to me, if it has anything to do with his divine feminine, then he's going to wish for it. That's what he's saying. And you know, <laughs> if y'all could just reach Archangel, Ar Archangel Ragwell, he could help you create harmony within this relationship here in 3D. Um, because I don't feel like there's any harmony here between you two. Um, and this is his message to you, you know. He um, he wants y'all to hold the frequency of Lemuria inside your heart. And if you don't know how, just ask him. He'll show you how. Because when you do this, you will find peace so that you understand no matter how far apart you two are here, in the 3D, you are and always will be connected. And there is nothing that can stop that. <clears throat> it's that energy signature thing, y'all. And you cannot get rid of that. Let's look at some oracles. <clears throat> yeah, I think I want to look at some oracles now. Um... Spirit is telling me that uh, this, if I had married you, Oracle deck for Twin Flames and Separation. Uh, this is one of our in-house Oracle decks and it's based on the last book I ever wrote. Um, but uh, Spirit is telling me this is Divine Feminine. Uh, she says, I often wonder if you ever loved me the way I love you. Yeah, I can see why she had us pull that card. It's filled backstabbed and betrayed. That's what I saw over here. So, I'm not really surprised to see her say this. Uh, the Spirit says, this is from our in-house oracle deck, Crazy For You, which is based on my first book. Um, this is Divine Masculine Energy. He says, I look for you wherever I go. Yeah. I'm not surprised about that either. Remember, he's not sure what he's wishing for. <laughs> he just knows it has to do with divine feminine. <laughs> so I'm not really surprised at all to see him say that. And so now we have a couple of messages from Spirit. This one is from the Mystical Shaman. And this one is from our in-house oracle deck, Messages from Spirit. And all of these messages were given to me from my spirit guides. Uh, so let's see what they have to say. They say, <clears throat> whatever souls are made of, your twin and you are the same. Yep. Spirit's just confirming that energy signature thing I was talking about earlier. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so let's see what our mystical shaman has to say. And no, Sandy's library is not responsible for these. Uh, they're beautiful cards, though. And uh, the card that we drew out was lightning. And you know, the funny thing about this card 
or, or, or more precisely what it represents, you know, a lightning. It, I mean, it can illuminate everything or it can burn the hell out of everything if it's too strong. You know? But, you know, Spirit is with your Divine Feminine and Archangel Raguel is waiting to ignite you with some new inspiration and creativity so you can get out of this mess over here. I mean, he did it for me. So he can do it for you. I mean, I was really bummed out when I couldn't uh, write anymore due to my issues, but he led me on down a new path. I followed him and here we are. So he can do it for you. Um, so, you know, call on him. Allow him to offer you this divine gift of awakening. Call on him so it can take root in your being and bring you some peace. Yeah, because cause he can. He can definitely bring you some peace. <clears throat> yeah, so, okay. Uh, I don't want to get off on my own personal journey, so let's just get back to these two. And we're going to use our uh, in-house oracle deck, The Lonely Days and Lonely Nights. Uh, lonely Days is Divine Masculine Energy and Lonely Nights is Divine Feminine Energy. And this allows them to have a conversation here in the 3D. And, uh, you know, all of our oracle decks, I don't know, did I say that before? They're created by Sarah's Tarot. Um, some more uh, information about them in the description. But anyway, uh, let's see. Divine Feminine says, um, <clears throat> too much time. <coughs> Shit. Sorry, guys. The wrong words fall out of my mouth sometimes, even though I'm looking at and thinking the right ones. But anyway, here we go. Let's try it again. Too much time has happened while we were traveling down our separate paths. Yeah, I can see why she say that. Okay, Divine Masculine, what does he say back to her? <laughs> he says, sometimes I wish you weren't so honest. <laughs> and I'm not telling the Divine Feminine to stop being honest, but, you know, your honesty is what's keeping in, in this wishful thinking energy. And that's not your problem, okay? So don't go thinking you got to stop being honest because you don't, okay? Uh, I just really want you to uh, please, please, please call on Archangel Rag Ragwell. I mean, he can help you. You know, he can. Oh gosh, you know, what we're dealing here really is great energy, but, you know, I don't like to end on a uh, Debbie Downer note unless I absolutely have to. I mean, there's always a chance of good fools go out, and I would just really hate that, but I'm still trying to get some light here. And uh, so, will there be contact within the next year? Will there be? Oh, shit, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No contact within the next year. But, you know, <clears throat> that's going to give you a lot of time to work on these issues that are going on. And Divine Feminine, man, just call on Ragwell. Um, he will help you. Yes, he will. And I'm wishing you tons of luck over this next year. And, you know, check back in, you know, in a few days or whatever. You know, because energies, they do change. So, uh, okay, guys. Well, I guess it about wraps it up for group number two. Stay tuned for group number three. Alrighty, so let's 
take a look at group number three. And group number three was represented by the little teddy bear tugging his heart behind him. So we'll sit him right up here, looking over the cards for us. And so let's go ahead and get started with our Scrabble game. Um, so we can see if we can find out who we might be talking to today. And I just want to remind you, I want to say divine masculine and divine feminine. It's got nothing to do with gender. All the bad energy. So don't get caught up in the pronouns or the labels that I use. Man, woman, male, female. It's got nothing to do with it. It's all about energy. So, we have a T and an R. We have a T and an R. So, you can pull anything out of that first, middle, last initial. Perhaps geographic location. There may be a message here for you. Uh, let's see what we got going on here. Let's just sit these oracles down for a minute and then uh, our opening energy is from the Work Your Light Oracle deck and we have Anna, Grandmother of Jesus. It says seeding the light, laying foundations, divine plan. Uh, it's a good start. Our Archangel energy, and let me just say that uh, I have trouble pronouncing these here in the 3D, so y'all go ahead and laugh at me if you want. Uh, and just go ahead and tell me in the comments how to pronounce them. You know you want to. Uh, but with us, we have Archangel Raphael. Okay, so Divine Masculine energy. We have the Eight of Pentacles. Divine Feminine Energy is the Ace of Wands. My, my. Okay, so, sorry about my squeaky chair, y'all. Uh, Spirit is giving me the energies of Virgo and Leo. I had to rearrange my cup over here. Sorry, guys. Um, so. Okay. Spirit wants us to know that we each have this seed of light inside of us that holds our divine plan and spirit wants us to surrender and remember our part of the plan and look if we seek guidance from Archangel Raphael he will help us remember our part of the plan and here's another tip. Archangel Raphael can help you manifest the divine partnership of your dreams. You know, that perfect union? Yep, he can help you with that. And y'all know what? He might already be helping you with that because look, here's our divine masculine. He's sitting in this energy of ambition. I mean, this is a guy who's working 24-7. He's going that extra mile to make all those pinnacles. He's doing it for some reason. And uh, I feel like it's all about you, Divine Finman. And Seriously, this is not a guy who's going to give up either. He feels like he has to be able to give you 
everything. And, you know, that's his right. Maybe that's what his perfect union looks like. Is you and him sitting on top of a pile of money. You know, you never know. Uh, all I'm saying, though, Divine Masculine, is I hope you don't wait too long because the Divine Feminine is in the energy of bring on the honeymoon. Uh -huh. She wants family. And she'd rather it be with you. So, don't take too long over there. Because the biggest thing that I'm getting from this card is pregnancy. So, some of you ladies out there, uh, you might be or are about to become pregnant. And notice I didn't say divine feminines. Because divine designations aren't about gender. But pregnancy obviously is. Uh, and hey, the divine masculine can be in a woman's body just as easily as a divine feminine can. But I digress. I don't know what happened to split you two up. But I feel like y'all are being pulled back together. Yes, I do. <clears throat> and they're helping. Question is, are they getting through to y'all? Let's check some more uncles and see if we can figure out a little more about what's going on with y'all. So, uh, Spirit is telling me divine feminine energy. So, she wants to tell her divine masculine, I will always love you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think we're kind of getting an inkling of that. So, I feel like Spirit is getting through to her, and this is divine masculine energy. He says, I never would have left you if I didn't have to. <coughs> Excuse me. Did you get a drink of water, guys? Sorry. I never would have left you if I didn't have to. There's something about this card, y'all, that makes me wonder. If these two are actually in the type of separation that this channel represents, or if you're just <clears throat> separated by miles or something here in the 3D, like because maybe um, the Divine Masculine is in the um, military or something, and that's what's causing this separation. Because <clears throat> it do not feel like either one of you really feels like you're s really separated. Not the separation that this channel represents anyway. I'm just not sure. But <clears throat> I may be letting the meaning of this message become influenced by the traditional meaning of this from the book that this deck comes from. So I'm just not sure. Let's see what Spirit has to say. Uh, oh, it, see, we have three cards from Spirit here. And typically, y'all, um, they only give me two. So, uh, let's see. Messages from Spirit is from our in-house oracle deck. Uh, there's more information in the video description about um, our oracle decks, our in-house oracle decks. Um, and, but Spirit says, uh, and just so everybody's aware, these messages come directly from my spirit guides. But they say, sometimes, if you're lucky, this magical journey will lead you into the edge of imagination where hope intersects with what if. And I will tell you that this message right here, in this deck, there are two messages. 
<clears throat> uh, that come from, one comes from the first book I ever wrote, Crazy For You, and one comes from the last book I ever wrote, If I Had Married You, and this one comes from the last book I ever wrote, If I Had Married You. So, but you know, <clears throat> Willa Beth wants me to reread this. She says, sometimes if you're lucky, this magical journey will lead you into the edge of imagination where hope intersects with what if. And yeah, I, I'm getting that. Archangel Raphael can make that happen. He can make hope intersect with what if. That's what uh, my guides are telling me. Okay, so <clears throat> we have a second card from the Work Your Light Oracle. Oh, shit. And look, y'all. <laughs> can you read that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I don't think there's much that needs to be said about that. I mean, is there? <clears throat> and then, a uh, final message from Spirit is from our, uh, no, not our, but the mystical shaman deck. Because Sandy Slyber is not responsible for that. I'm not claiming that. Uh, but anyway, uh, they give us the sun. Oh my goodness. The universe is calling you two back together. So, I, I mean, I don't know. Maybe you're in the type of separation that this channel represents. And maybe you're in the type of separation that this was referring to inside the book. Um, but... Um, you know, either way, um, you guys may be in separation, but it doesn't have to be that way. And so, Divine Masculine, have you gathered up enough pentacles yet? Because the Divine Feminine wants to have a baby. If she's not expecting already, I mean... So, let's see what they say. Um, these come from our Lonely Days and Lonely Nights deck, and yep, that's an in-house oracle deck. Uh, Divine Masculine says, You're the only person I've ever been able to open up to. <clears throat> Divine Feminine says, It's always been you. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm expecting a wedding. So, what do y'all say? <laughs> yep. Yeah, I'm expecting a wedding. What do y'all say? In the next year? What, is there going to be a wedding in the next year? And look. This one is stuck in here. Let me see if I can pull some. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Sucker trying to hide from me. <laughs> um, okay, so I'm feeling really good about the union here. Uh, even if it's just a reunion in the 3D because y'all are actually together. Aw, it's a little hot air balloon. Hey, look and check this out. It's got pink and blue and white. Pink and blue. I'm feeling, hey, <clears throat> any of your divine feminines out there where twins run in your family, I'm feeling like you might be having some twins pretty soon. But I gotta figure out <clears throat> what the hot air balloon represents. And it represents April. Hey, if anybody out there is due in April and you're Expecting twins. <laughs> well, uh, 
I'm feeling pretty good though. Uh, so, uh, you know, the spirit's not really saying anything else. I'm pretty much feeling like uh, there's going to be a wedding in April. So, uh, good luck to you guys. Um, so, okay, well, I hope you enjoyed today's Pick a Card reading. Thanks for taking the time to view it. And be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because we upload brand new reading every day. Wishing you love, peace, and happiness. Later, Gators.